Hi everyone, myself Smita Salim, Assistant Professor, Devok Industrial Instrumentation and Automation Department, MES College, Marambali. Today we are going to discuss about induction motor. As you know, a motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. AC motor is divided into two types, synchronous motor and asynchronous motor. Asynchronous motor also known as induction motor. There are two types of induction motor, single phase induction motor and three phase induction motor. In three phase induction motor, we are giving three phase supply to the state. So due to that a field is created that in turn create a flux. This flux travel through the air gap and touches the rotor conductors. The conductors may be a copper or aluminium or alloy of uh, co copper or aluminium. Then an EMF is induced there. Because of that, a current produced there. So that a field, a field and flux produces around the conductor. So because of the interaction between the stator field and the rotor field, a torque is developed. So the rotor, rotor will rotate. This is the working principle of a three-phase induction motor. So in three-phase induction motor, we have rotating flux. In a single phase, in a single phase induction motor, the flux is alternating in nature because we are applying a single phase supply. So due to the single phase supply, we are applying to the, st uh, the uh, single phase supply, we are applying to the stator winding. Let phi m be the flux produced at the stator winding. Due to double revolving theory, this phi m may be split into two. That is phi m by two and phi m by two. The phi m by two have the same magnitude but opposite in direction. So they cancel out each other. So the rotor won't get starting torque to rotate. So we need to change this alternating field flux to rotating field flux. For this purpose, we are adding a field, a field to this single phase. So because of this, a phase shift field, we will get a rotating field and that touches the rotor field. And EMF is induced. So that the current is produced. Then the stator, fe stator field and rotor field interact and the rotation is produced. Once the rotation is created, we can remove the external field also. So next we will see advantages of induction motor. This has self-starting capacity and the design is simple. And for every environmental condition, we can use this induction motor. And this induction motor is widely used. Next, we will see the construction of the induction motor. There are mainly two parts. First one is the stator. And second one is the rotor. So next we will see what is a stator. From the name itself, we can understand that stator is the stationary part. So it is constructed using high grade steel alloy. There are three main parts. First one is frame and second one is core and third one is winding. We will see what is a frame. A frame is the outer body. It supports the stator core. It protects the inner part of the machine. And the second part is the core. The core is made of high grade silicon steel stamping. And each stamping is insulated from each other. It has a thickness of 0.3 to 0.5 millimeter. And inside this core, the magnetic field is carried. Next, we will discuss about the rotor. There are mainly two types of rotor. First one is squirrel cage rotor and second one is slip ring or wound rotor. So you can see the squirrel cage rotor in the diagram. 
So in the, this squirrel cage rota, this is a laminated cylindrical cord type. This has parallel slots to carry the conductor. All the conductors placed inside the slot. All the conductors are shorted using the end rings. So we can't add external circuit and resistances to this because it is shorted using end ring. The slots are not exact parallel. So you can see this in this diagram. Uh, these are slightly skewed to reduce the humming and noise. So advantages, uh, next we will see the advantages of rotor. This is cheaper, easy construction and maintenance cost, cost is very less and high efficiency also. Next we will see a wound rotor or slip ring rotor. So here we have slip ring and brushes. This is the, uh, uh, that is the difference from the squirrel cage rotor. And we can add external resistance uh, because of that uh, high starting torque and high starting current also. And uh, uh, here speed control is very easy. That's all for today's class. Thank you.